Well, it is 7.03 and we are going to get started. So if anyone doesn't have anything to share, we are going to find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose. Any easy seat that feels good for you, may you find your seat. I am going to start out in a half lotus. As we are using our easy seat or our half lotus, any seat that we are in, we are using our seated pose to help ground and root our bodies here today. We are planting and we are centering. Ensuring that our tummies are nice and tight. Our spinal cords are nice and elongated here, meaning we are not sunken down. We have control of our bodies with our shoulders melted downward away from our ears. As we take a nice, deep, intentional breath in, exhale. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body. As we breathe in deeply, exhale fully. Maybe we, ga maybe we are gazing our eyes downward or our eyes are closed. Whatever feels good for you. As we breathe our palms, our heart center coming into a seated prayer. Maybe allowing our thumbs to touch our sternum if that feels good for you. As we relax and hang out here in silent meditation for four natural breaths. Two more breaths. As we are allowing our mind and our bodies to relax here in our session here today, we are simply going inward and checking in. Two more breaths. As we breathe our palms above our heads, coming into a seated salute, fingertips reaches up towards the heavens, palms are together, interlacing our fingers with our pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. Heart chakras open, chin is slightly up. As we allow our arms to slightly flow towards the back of the room, fill in this slight back bend here. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center. We're going to separate our palms, coming into that seated extended mountain. Palms are separated. Noticing how this feels. We're going to hold this pose, chin open, Heart chakra is open, chin is up. This is our channeling position here. Whenever we want to channel in hope, inspiration, positivity, and good things in our lives, maybe hang out here, relaxing with our arms open, with our heart chakra open, with our chin up, and may we welcome in whatever is positive and hopeful and needed in our lives. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Bringing our palms slightly further apart, coming into that seated star. Heart chakra still open, chin is up. Breathe in. Exhale. Hanging out in the star, feeling nice and strong and solid, feeling bright because we are a star. Two more breaths. Twisting our bodies towards the right, palms come downward towards the earth as we gaze over that right shoulder. We are in our seated twist. Our seated twist relaxes and soothes our spinal cord. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming into that seated star. Breathe in. Exhale, seated twist, left side, palms come downward, gazing over that left shoulder, soothing that spinal cord. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, flowing to that star. Exhaling to our salute, bringing our palms together. Flow into our prayer, palms relaxes at heart center, shoulders melts down away from the ears. This allows us to relax the upper parts of our bodies. 
you may notice that many times we may have clients who sit tense, meaning their shoulders are shrugged. So simply reminding them to relax the shoulders downward away from the ears helps relax the upper parts of the body. As we take a nice breath in, exhale. Flowing our palms out to the side. As we flow back up to that salute, breathing our palms above our head, chin is up, breathe in. Exhale to that seated salute. I'm sorry, seated extended mountain. As we lean our bodies towards the right, coming into that seated side bend here, gazing up at the heavens, noticing how this feels on the right side of our body. Two more breaths. Exhale into center. As we lean our bodies towards the opposite side, feeling that side bend, gazing up at the heavens, opening up their heart chakra. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, flowing to our salute, palms are together. Exhaling to prayer, relaxing the body, shoulders melt down, gazing our eyes downward or closing our eyes. Breathe in deeply, hold the breath, exhale. Feeling the body too. Two more breaths. As we relax our palms downward towards the earth, our palms are on the sides of our bodies. As we are using our palms to channel in and notice and be aware of what is going on around us in our environment. We are checking in with how we feel right here, right now. We are checking in with what's going on around us right here, right now, without judgment, simply being aware. With our eyes gazed down and closed, maybe take a moment to check in. And during our session here today, we may hear noises and sounds. We may become distracted. Maybe take notice of what is going on without judgment. Simply allowing what is happening to be and allowing our mind to stay focused regardless of what is happening. Because focusing really is the key in life when we're out in the field, when we're working. We're going to have distractions. Things are going to show up. Things are going to come up. And simply being aware of what is happening around us in our days, in our lives, in our workplaces. And noticing and being aware without judgment, without jumping a gun is, is essential. So may we take this time to simply check in. Taking this time to simply be aware and taking this time to focus on how we react to the situations that happens around us. Four more breaths, silent meditation. Two breaths. Flowing our hands above our heads, flowing into that suit, nice and tall. Fingertips are interlaced. Feeling this stretch, arms flows to the back of the room, opening up their heart chakra, two breaths. Exhaling back to center, feeling the pose, coming down to prayer. As we flow our feet into a bow position, bringing our feet together, we are bounding our feet, coming together, working on our hip flexors here, opening up and relaxing our thighs and our hips. And we can flow into a diamond, meaning that our feet are further away from our bodies. This is a hip opener, but it's not as deep. Or we can flow into a butterfly, bringing our feet closer towards our bodies. Noticing how this is deeper. This is a deeper hip flexor. So take it a moment to feel which one is best for you and your body here. Breathing our palms at our feet. Gazing our eyes down, closing our eyes, checking in with our bodies. Allowing our hips, allowing our legs to completely relax. Taking nice, subtle breaths. Noticing that when we take the breaths, our legs may come from higher, looking like a butterfly wings, and they may relax closer to the earth. Noticing how the breath allows the body to relax more. 
Two more breaths. <sighs> Breathe in deeply. Exhale, slightly hinging at those hips, hinging at the hips. Noticing that when we hinge at the hips, we come deeper into that hip flexor here. Our torso comes downward towards our feet. And if we choose, we can allow our head to relax downward towards our feet. Going deeper into that hip flexor here. Only going down as much as our bodies allow us to comfortably go. Hearing my voice, but listening to your body. My voice is just a guide. You have the final say in where you can go and what you can do. As we relax and soothe, three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, using our palms to push our torso back up. We are in a bound position. Bound position means that our feet are together. As we open up that heart chakra, lifting our chin up, allowing our head to relax between our shoulder blades, we are in that seated cow. Hanging out here, two more breaths. Noticing how this feels in your lumbar spine, your lower spinal cord. As we exhale to cat, bringing that chin towards the clavicle, spinal cord flows to the back of the room. Two breaths. Flowing back to cow. Exhale into cat. Flowing back to our bound position as we straighten our legs out in front of us, coming into a staff pose. Maybe using our hands to bring our legs in. Straightening our legs out. Legs are parallel. Tummies are nice and tight here. Squeezing our tummies in at our navel, at our belly button. With our shoulders relaxed down and away from the ears. Keeping that spinal cord nice and elongated here. As we are gaze forward, we are in our staff pose. Noticing how the seated pose with legs straight feels within the body. Two breaths. As we breathe our palms above our heads, flowing into that salute, heart chakras open, chin is up, interlacing our palms together, allowing those hands to flow towards the back. Exhaling back to center, breathing down to prayer, bringing those palms at heart center. Slightly hinging at the hips, we are in that seated forward fold. Hinging at the hips just a little. We are in that half forward fold. Noticing how this feels in the body. Eyes are gazed down to close. We are relaxing and soothing. And if all feels well, and if we want to go deeper, we can flow into that seated complete forward fold. Allowing that torso to come closer to the thighs. Allowing that head to relax downward towards the knees. Maybe connecting the hands to the ankles or the bottoms of the feet. Take a nice, subtle breath, feeling this complete forward fold. This is a full body stretch. Got eyes are gazed down, eyes are closed as we feel the movements here in this pose. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, relaxing the body here. And we're gonna work on a Sage Marichi. We're gonna stay seated, we're gonna stay grounded for the first part of this class. We're gonna work on a Sage Marichi, starting on the right side, lifting that right leg up, right foot flat on the earth, right knee is up in the air, positioning our bodies to feel comfortable, lifting up that right arm in the air, leaning the body towards the left, leaning forward, Lowering that right arm downward just a little. We're going to wrap this right arm around that leg. We are now in our Sage Marici. And taking a moment to notice how this feels. We can 
option to breathe that left leg inward if we choose. Maybe noticing how this feels. This is also a stage Marici. It's just a different variation of the pose. We can also keep that leg straight. Or we can option to take our left hand and wrap it around our backs and interlace our right and left fingertips. Noticing how this stretches and soothes the body. Now we are a little deeper in that stage Marici. With our heart chakra open, and our chin slightly up. This puts us in our Sage Marici one. Their hearts open, chin is up. Noticing how this feels in our body and in our spinal cord. Two more breaths. As we slowly hinge at the hips, allowing that torso to come closer to the thigh, allowing that head to slip to slightly gaze downward at the knees. We're basically hinged at the hips. This is a Sage Marici two. Taking a moment to notice in the difference between the two. We're gonna hang out here for three more breaths. Two breaths. And telling back up to Sage Marici one, lifting up their heart chakra, opening up their heart chakra, lifting up that chin, two more breaths. As we uninterlace those fingers here, we're going to unwrap that leg. We're gonna straighten out that leg, those legs coming back into that staff pose. Tummy's tight at our navel. Final cord is nice and long, shoulders relaxed downward, gazing forward. Maybe breathing our palms at heart center if that feels good. Three breaths. Two breaths. As we flow our hands up to our salute, exhale to prayer. As we sage Marici opposite side, taking that left leg, left knees in the air, left foot is flat on the earth, allowing our bodies to feel nice and comfy here. As we lift our left arm up in the air, lean our bodies towards the right, lean forward, as we wrap this left arm around our left leg, we are in that Sage Marici opposite side, noticing how this feels. And we can hang out here for this entire pose if this feels good for us. We also can breathe that right leg inward. We are also in our Sage Marici, noticing how this feels. Or we can keep that leg straight. Heart chakras open, chin is up. And if we choose, we can actually wrap our right arm around our backs, interlacing our right and left fingertips. This too is still our stage of reach. Keeping that heart chakra open and that chin up places us in our stage of reaching one. Three breaths. Two more breaths. As we slightly hinge at the hips, our torso comes closer towards our thigh, allowing that head to relax down. We are now in our Sage Marici too. Noticing how this feels in the body, mainly inside of the spinal cord. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling up to that stage, Marici one, lifting up that heart chakra. Chin is slightly up. Two more breaths. As we uninterlace our fingertips, we're going to unwrap that thigh, coming back into that staff pose. Legs are parallel side by side. As we breathe up to that salute, chin is up. Exhale a prayer. Flow into that half forward fold. Noticing how this feels behind our legs and our hamstrings. And if we choose, we can flow down to that complete forward fold. Connecting the hands to the ankles or the hands to the lower parts of the feet. Head relaxes downward towards the knees. Four breaths. Two more breaths.
Exhale into half forward as we flow back to our staff pose. Crossing our feet at our ankles, we're going to come into a tabletop position. Knees are hip distance apart, allowing our bodies to relax and soothe here as our tummy sunk downward. As we come into that cow pose, chin is slightly up, allowing our head to relax between our shoulder blades, noticing how this cow pose works and relaxes the lumber, the lower parts of our backs. So if we ever have clients and they say, I have no back pain, a cow pose is always a good pose to start them out in. With our palms flat on the earth, elbows are straight, two breaths. Exhale into cat, bringing that chin towards the clavicle, spinal cord goes up towards the heavens. We are in our cat pose, allowing the body to relax and soothe here. Two breaths. Flowing back to our cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing to our table, we are at our neutral pose here. And we're gonna breathe our right leg towards the back, working on that sunbird here. Both of our palms are flat on the earth as we collect our balance, noticing how we feel. And if all feels well, maybe we can extend that left arm forward. Now we are in that full sunbird. As we are gazed forward, our tummies are nice and tight, especially at our navel, our belly button. And we're going to hang out here and feel this pose and hold this pose. Four breaths, building strength. We can option to lower our right toes downward towards the earth also. Just want to throw that out there. We can have our legs straight to the back, or we can lower those toes downward towards the earth. Two more breaths. As we take a nice deep breath in, exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that tummy crunch, knee comes to elbow. Yes, back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Flowing back to bird. And we're gonna hang out here and we're gonna pulse that right leg up in the air. Just for three breaths. We are working our gluteus maximus, working on rounding and lifting our butt out. Two more breaths. Feeling that burn, finding a pause. Exhaling back to table, dropping the body down to cow. Chin is up. Exhale, cat. Flowing back to our table as we sunburn opposite side, breathing that left leg towards the back, feeling that stretch. Both palms are flat on the earth as we collect our balance. If we feel like our balance is there, may we extend that right arm forward, coming into that full sunburn. As we are gazed forward, tummies are nice and tight at our navel. We are building strength and balancing. Four breaths. Two more breaths. As we breathe in deeply, exhale, knee to elbow, still in that crunch, opposite side. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Yes, going at your own pace. Flowing back to bird, hanging out here, feeling that balance as we pulse that leg up and down, working on that gluteus maximus lift, opposite side, three breaths, two more breaths, finding pause, exhale back to table, knees are hip distance apart, elbows are nice and straight, dropping down to cow, chin slightly up, Go into our cat. As we do a couple of cat cow rotations to our natural breath. Two more breaths. As we find our pause at table, we're gonna push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that nice deep stretch. 
And as we walk our dog by pedaling our feet left and right, ensuring that our tummies are nice and tight, we wanna have control of our core. As we find our paws, we're gonna shift that weight forward, coming into that high plank. Tummies are tight, two breaths. Exhaling down to our low plank or our chaturanga, hovering over our yoga mat. Two breaths. Exhaling down to our tummies, coming into a sphinx pose. We are on our tummies, we are on our forearms. We are in that sphinx pose. Ensuring that our shoulders are relaxed away from the ears. A lot of times you may notice in the sphinx pose, clients may be shrugged. So reminding them to relax the shoulders away from the ears helps us have control of our bodies. As we are gaze forward, chin slightly up, eyes are gaze down and closed. Breathe in, exhale. For this Sphinx pose is a slight back bend, but it's also a relaxing pose. Four more breaths. Two breaths. As we exhale to our baby cobra, breathing our palms towards our torso, our chest, and slightly pushing our bodies away from the earth. Elbows are slightly bent. We are in that baby cobra. As we flow into that cobra, straightening out those elbows, now we're in that cobra. Noticing with the baby cobra, we are closer to the earth. Elbows are slightly bent, baby cobra. In our cobra, elbows are straighter, torso is farther away from the earth. Chin is slightly up. As we exhale to our up dog, taking our thighs off the earth. Noticing, yes. So in our up dog, it's a nice back bend. It looks like a cobra and a baby cobra, but it's not. We're gonna hang out here, two more breaths. Exhale and down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking our dog, by pedaling our feet left to right. <sighs> Exhaling back to our up dog, thighs are off the earth. Up dog, thighs are off the earth, yes. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Head relaxes between the shoulder blades. Exhaling down to our cobra, coming on to our thighs. Elbows are straight. Cobra pose. Slightly bending our elbows, coming into that baby cobra. Yes, noticing the difference between the poses. As we flow back to that Sphinx pose, we are on our forearms, we are on our tummies. Shoulders are not shrugged. Shoulders are away from the ears. Gazing the eyes down, closing the eyes as we take a moment to go inward, as we take a moment to notice the differences between the poses we just did, we are in our Sphinx pose now. We went into our baby cobra. Our elbows were slightly bent. Then we went into our cobra. Our elbows were straighter. Then we went into our up dog. Noticing how all these poses look the same. And maybe you notice that when you start teaching, a lot of students get these poses confused. So, we, so maybe take a moment to simply notice the difference between all of the poses we just went over. The Sphinx, the up dog, the baby cobra, and notice how they feel slightly different within the body. With our eyes closed, maybe hang out here and meditate over the poses for four natural breaths. Two more breaths. As we exhale down onto our tummies, we're gonna come into a sleep pose. We're gonna cross our arms in front of us, palms or, in, or stacked on top of each other, allowing our chin or our foreheads or our cheeks to relax on our palms. 
show the blades melts forward. We are in our resting pose. Eyes are gazed down to close, and we are simply using this time to show a little bit of self-love, self-gratitude, self-appreciation. We are using this time to rest the mind, to rest the body. As we take a nice deep breath in, exhale. Feeling our torso relax and melt forward into the earth. Feeling our bodies taking a load off. Feeling that it's all about self right here, right now. Five breaths, silent meditation. Mm. Two more breaths. As we slowly awaken from that sleep pose, we're gonna breathe our arms in front of us, taking our legs off the earth and our palms are forward, finding our bodies in a Superman, Supergirl. Yes, this is a slight back bend. Noticing how this feels within the body. Three breaths. We can actually act like we're flying by moving our bodies left and right. If we choose, it's an option. It's only an option going nice and slow, like we're flying. Or we can just find our pause, our still at center. As we are gaze forward, maybe swim our hands, swimming our hands towards the back. Palms come upwards towards the heavens. Palms are facing up. We are now in our locust pose. Chin is up. This also is a back bend. Two more breaths. We're gonna hold this pose. We're gonna relax our bodies down. Relaxing on our third eye chakra, our forehead. Allowing that forehead to connect to the earth. Allowing the shoulder blades to melt forward. As we breathe in, exhale. As we are now in our sleeping locus, once again, we are going to check in. We are going to focus on self and we are allowing our mind and our body to relax and connect to earth, to connect to our environment, to connect to what is needed and wanted in our lives. Three more breaths of sleeping locus. Two breaths. Mm. Slowly awakening from that sleeping locus, we're gonna lift our bodies up, lifting our palms up, lifting our feet off the earth. We are back in that locust pose. Chin is up. Three breaths. Two breaths. As we flow into our bow pose, connecting our right hand to our right ankle, our left hand to our left ankle, we are now in that bow, using this connection to lift our torso further away from the earth. This is a deeper back bend, locust pose, chin is up, heart chakras opened, four breaths. Two more breaths, coming out of the pose whenever you need. Exhaling back down to that locust pose. Legs are off the earth, palms are off the earth. Swimming our hands forward, coming back to that Superman, Supergirl. Two breaths. Exhaling back to that Sphinx pose. Relaxing the thighs and the feet on the earth. We are back on our forearms. Shoulders are relaxed away from the ears. Chin is slightly up, heart chakras open. Eyes are gazed down. Shoulders are relaxed away from the ears, sphinx pose. As we breathe in deeply, exhale. 
Two more breaths. Coming to our baby cobra, bringing our palms towards our torso, lifting our torso away from the earth, baby cobra. Exhale into cobra, straightening those elbows. Exhale, up dog, taking those thighs off the earth, chin is up. Flow into our damn dog, gazing at our feet. Pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that nice deep stretch. As we walk our dog by pedaling our feet left and right, ensuring our tummies are nice and tight at our navel. Three breaths. Finding our pause, shifting that weight forward, high plank. Exhale back down dog. As we walk our feet towards our hands, complete forward fold, allowing that torso to relax over the thighs, head relaxes downward towards the knees, towards the feet. This complete forward fold is a full body stretch. As we take a nice deep breath in, exhale. Allowing the body to relax and soothe here. Three more breaths. Exhale into a half forward fold, slightly gazing forward. Noticing how this feels in the body. As we yogi walk our feet slightly apart, just a little. We're going to come back down to that complete forward fold. And this time we're going to come into a rag doll. We're going to hug our elbows with our hands, allowing that head to relax here. We are in a rag doll. Noticing how this feels behind our legs and our hamstrings here. And maybe we can rock our body or sway our body from side to side. Noticing that when we rock and when we sway, we can feel the hamstring stretch just a little more. Four breaths. Two more breaths. If we find our pause at center, we are in, we're gonna come into a half forward fold. Palms are connecting to the earth or fingertips are connecting to the earth or to a yoga block. Half forward fold. As we yogi walk our feet further apart, nice and wide, coming into a wide legged half forward fold. Noticing how this feels. Wide legged, nice and wide. As we come into that wide legged forward fold, allowing that head to relax down, gazing at the back of the room. Feeling that stretch, that nice deep stretch here. Yes, we are, we are lengthening and stretching and soothing the body. Three more breaths. As we connect our right hand to our right ankle and our left hand to our left ankle, noticing how that feels in the body. Two more breaths. Flowing up to a half, forward fold. Slightly gazing forward. Maybe shifting our weight slightly forward, just a little, seeing how that feels. And then shifting our weight towards the back. Noticing how that feels. Just noticing the difference from when we position our bodies forward. You won't feel it as much in your hamstrings. But when we shift our body towards the back, we are on the balls of our feet or the heels of our feet. So that there, you'll feel it a little more in your hamstrings. So simply just being aware of that. So if you ever have any clients and they say they have tight hamstrings, we can maybe start them with the weight forward. And then we ask them to shift their weight towards the back, coming on to the, to the heels of their feet. Just being aware of the difference. As we, we're in our half forward fold here, we're gonna breathe our left hand towards our right ankle. And we're going to wrap our right arm around our back like we're doing our thread the needle. And we're going to slightly gaze over our right shoulder. 
We are in a cross body stretch here. As we allow that body to relax and soothe, we are gonna to continue to stretch, strengthen, and lengthen the body. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into center, come into that wide-legged half, forward fold as we bring our right hand towards our left ankle. We're gonna wrap that left arm around our backs like we're doing our thread the needle. As we gaze over that left shoulder, feeling that cross body stretching, relaxing and soothing and lengthening the body. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, come into that half forward fold. Exhale to complete forward. Allowing the head to come downward towards the earth. Noticing how that completely stretches the entire body. Breathe in. Exhale. Two more breaths. Flow into a half forward fold. And we're going to stay in our wide leg and we're going to come up to our Tadasana, our mountain pose. Palms are at our side. Noticing how this feels as we breathe our hands above our heads, coming into that standing star. Palms are off towards the side. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Breathe in, exhale down to that goddess stance. We're gonna bend our knees. These are pointing to the outward part of the yoga mat. We are in that goddess stance. We got our cactus hands, if that feels good. We are now working the lower parts of our bodies here, building strength, toning and firming. As we breathe our palms above our heads, coming into that salute, we are in that goddess salute. Chin is up. Exhale into prayer, breathing our palms at heart center in our goddess stance. Two breaths. Exhale into that cactus hands. As we pulse the body up and down, we're going to build strength. We're going to work that body. Toning and firming our legs, our thighs, our quads, and our gluteus maximus. Four breaths. Two breaths. Finding that pause, exhale into our standing star, straightening those legs, palms come out towards the side, heart chakras open, chin is up, breathe in, exhale. Three more breaths, two breaths. Exhale back down to that goddess, bending those knees. We are in our cactus hands, holding this pose. Three breaths, two breaths. Flow into our salute, palms above our head. Chin is up. Exhale the prayer. As we pulse the body up and down, four breaths. Feeling that burn here, we're gonna keep on flowing. We got this. Two more breaths. Finding that pause at center as we rock the body left and right. Working different parts of the muscles. Remembering no pain, no gain. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Finding pause at center, feeling that burn. Two breaths. Exhale, standing star, straightening those legs, palms out towards the side, heart chakras open, chin is up. Two more breaths. Going to our salute, palms above our head. Exhale to our prayer. Hinging at our hips, coming into that wide legged half forward fold. We are in our prayer hands. Noticing how this feels. Behind our legs and our hamstrings, we are gazed forward. 
quad-legged, half forward fold. Pray your hands. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Plumbing into that complete forward fold. Head relaxes down. Hands connect to the yoga mat. Hands connect to the ankles, whatever feels best for you. Three breaths. Two more breaths. As we walk our hands forward, we're gonna bring our legs together. We are back in our down dog. Gazing at our feet, crushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that nice deep stretch. As we walk our dog, we're gonna pedal our feet left and right. Tummies are tight. We're gonna find that pause, shifting that weight forward, high plank. Two breaths. Exhale into our side plank, coming onto our side. Form goes up in the air, feeling that stretch. We are working our obliques. Three breaths. Oh. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to our high plank, twisting our weight forward. Flow into our down dog, gazing at our feet. Walking our dog by pedaling our feet. Finding our paws, shifting that weight forward, coming back to high plank. As we side plank, opposite side, lifting that opposite arm up in the air, feeling that stretch. We are working our obliques here. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling out, coming back to that high plank. Exhale, down dog. As we come onto our forearms, coming into a dolphin pose, relaxing on our forearms, buttocks is nice and high in the air. Head relaxes downward as we gaze to the back of the room. Maybe walking our feet closer towards our torso if that feels good. Noticing how our buttocks is nice and high. We are in our inversion. This pose prepares our body and our mind for headstand. Five breaths. And maybe we can pulse up and down on our tippy toes in this dolphin if we choose. Just pulsing the tippy toes up and down. Noticing how that's how that's preparing the body for headstand just a little more. That's just an option. We don't have to do it. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Dropping down to our knees as we flow into a wide-legged child's pose or puppy pose. Allowing our torso to relax between our thighs. Ugh. Our third eye chakra, our forehead is connected to the earth. With our arms extended in front of us, palms are flat on the earth. We are in our extended child's pose or puppy pose, whatever feels best for you in your body. As we take a nice deep breath in, exhale. Allowing those shoulder blades to melt forward into the yoga mat. Allowing the body to feel relaxed and soothed here. Allowing the mind to focus on self, to focus on what we need and what we want. Allowing the mind to be aware of what we need and what we want without judgment. Always being kind and always being loving to oneself. As we relax in silent meditation and silent meditation, child's pose, puppy pose, six natural breaths. Mm.
as we breathe our palms together above our heads, throwing our hands into a prayer hand, maybe coming into a prayer hands, child's pose or puppy pose. It's just an option. Three more breaths. We're going to do a bonus of four more breaths. Go in Emma, relaxing, self-care. Extending our arms in front of us if they were not already still there with our palms flat on the earth. We're going to spinal wave our bodies out of our child's pose or puppy pose. Using the palms to push the torso forward and using the palms to push the buttocks towards the heels. And we're gonna feel that body waving, relaxing and like waving the body, feeling the rhythm of the wave. Allowing the head to relax and flow into this spinal wave. Three more breaths. Two breaths. As we find our pause at center, we're going to come into that tabletop, knees or hip distance apart, palms are flat on the earth, dropping down to cow. Exhale to cat. Lowering back to our table. As we cross our feet at our ankles, we're going to come into a seated pose only for a second. We're going to flow onto our backs, coming into a reclined position, bringing our knees into our chest. Bringing our knees into our chest. Allowing our backs, our shoulder blades to melt backwards into the yoga mat. Eyes are gaze down and closed. Breathe in. Exhale. As we breathe our legs up in the air, legs on the wall poles or invisible wall in our case. As we point our toes upwards towards the heavens, we are in our plantar flex as our toes are pointing up towards the heavens. Feeling that stretch. As we breathe our hands to the lower parts of our legs, we're going to breathe our legs towards our torso. This is a full body stretch. Stretch legs to torso. Buttocks come slightly off the earth. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale back up to legs on the wall as we breathe our knees in towards our torso, allowing our knees to fall towards the left. Recline, spinal twist, left side. Feel the neck, spinal twist here. Shoulder blades melt backwards into the earth. Right arm goes out to the side like a T. As we gaze over our right arm or gaze up at the heavens, Whatever feels best for you. In our spinal twist, we are soothing and relaxing our spinal twist. We can do whatever we choose. We can freestyle in our spinal twist and do what is needed here. Maybe straightening out that top leg. Whatever we choose, five breaths. Three more breaths. Exhaling the body back to center, hugging the knees into the chest. <sighs> Breathe in. Exhale. As our knees flow towards the right, we are in our reclined spinal twist, opposite side. 
spin the next final twist. Left arm goes out to the side like a T. As we gaze over that left arm or gaze up at the heavens, as our shoulder blades melt back into the yoga mat, with our eyes gaze down and close, five breaths. Three more breaths. Exhale the body back to center, hugging the knees into the chest. Breathe in. Exhale, legs up in the air, legs on the wall. Breathing our knees into our chest, go into that happy baby. Palms come between our hands, our hands come between our thighs, shall I say. Palms come out towards the side. Happy baby. This is a hip opener. As we connect our hands to our feet, and may we massage our feet, may we apply pressure to our feet, and show our feet a little love. We're going to freestyle in our happy baby, basically doing whatever feels good for us. Five natural breaths. Mm. Two more breaths. Mm. Exhaling back up to legs on the wall. Breathing our knees into our chest. Exhaling our legs side by side, parallel to Vasana. Legs are side by side. Feet are connecting. The sides of our feet are touching. As we allow our feet to fall to the sides, completely relaxing our thighs. Shoulder blades melt back into the earth. Eyes are gazed down and closed. Five breaths. Silent meditation. Mm. Two more breaths. Keeping our eyes closed or our eyes gaze down, we're going to roll onto our side, coming into a fetal pose, relaxing and soothing here for three breaths. Two more breaths. As we slowly wiggle our toes, we're going to rotate our ankles, Moving our bodies at our hips, awakening the body. As we use this top hand to push our bodies upwards, coming into a fetal pose. I'm sorry, coming into a seated pose. Any seated pose that feels good for you. I'm going to come into a cow face, crossing my legs on top of each other. My feet are out towards the side. I'm going to connect my hands to my feet. Tummies are nice and tight. Spinal cords are nice and elongated here. Shoulders are relaxed downward away from the ears. As we take a nice deep breath in, exhale. Feeling that body relax. Our chin is relaxed. Our facial muscles are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into that prayer hand, shoulders melted away from the ears, eyes are closed or gaze down. We are going inward here. As we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing 
ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we make time for self. And I would like to thank you so much for allowing me to practice self-care and practice teaching training with you here today, for it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you all. Namaste.